Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today we are checking out the BuildBox Smart Asset Exploding Cube. Currently I'm on version 3.0.2 and the asset is broken. I'm going to show you how to fix it, how it works, and why you should be using this everywhere. So let's check it out. Before I begin, if be sure to like and subscribe as I put out videos daily while I'm trying to teach and learn BuildBox. So let's get going. Here we have the exploding cube and this looks great, but if you actually click on the exploding cube, it's just a cube and there's nothing going on here. So some of the BuildBox smart assets are just not built out. This seems to have been forgotten and it's super useful. Here's what I did, I created a character sphere i added an exploding cube this is the exploding cube inside the exploding cube you have if collide with sphere then remove the object and also create a debris and the debris will be filled up with 20 asset named cubes and here is just the plain asset that is the cube so once we go into it take the object move the sphere up and once it touches the cube the exploding cube, all those will explode. Look at that again. So that is how I have the exploding cube set up. Set to if collide, debris explosion, remove the original exploding cube, and then you'll have the new regular cube there. And if you want these cubes to also disappear, you can add a delay node and a remove node so that once these objects appear on the screen, they will get removed at 0.5 seconds. Just like that. Maybe 1.5 might be better. You know, I'm even curious if I can make the scale of it go down. Scale animation, down remove. I feel like we don't even need a timer. This takes one second. See if I can make everything 0.1. The scale doesn't work in this scenario. Try this. Maybe negative one. Oh, it actually got smaller. A lot of different ways to play around with nodes on nodes on nodes. I hope you like this inside look into the debris explosion smart asset. It's not working on my current version in BuildBox, but eventually it'll get updated. And hopefully you have a better understanding of how it works. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Peace.